Hey farm fam, today we're gonna make tongue. I know that sounds gross and maybe it looks weird, but I promise you it actually tastes really good and it's very tender. So we're gonna start by washing the tongue. Now we're gonna use uh, some salt, a few teaspoons, and then just a dash of vinegar poured in the mix, rub it on there and then let it sit. But it's just a quick wash, you know, hand, get on all the crevices and stuff. And then we'll just leave it in there for 10 to 15 minutes. Now for the Instapot part, I'm gonna put bay leaves, onion, three cloves of garlic and then salt and pepper spread throughout. Just a nice little mix. That's it. Nice and easy. We'll put the lid on. We'll turn it uh, just manual for 40 minutes. And then after it cooks for 40 minutes, we're going to let it sit for another 20 minutes on the warm setting. And then we'll come back for the rest of it. Now that the tongue is cooked, I'm going to remove it to dice and skin, and I'm going to save the broth to drink or cook with because it's delicious. Now for the fun part. The tongue is done. It's fully cooked, but it's hot. Be careful. You can let it sit for a minute. Use tongs. Use a knife. Whatever it takes. I have some tongs that I use sometimes. But we're going to skin it. We're going to take that outer layer off because um, no one likes to eat it. I usually feed it to my dogs or you can compost it, throw it away, whatever. I'm just going to hurry and de-skin this. It's really pretty easy, easy when it's warm and comes right out the Instapot. It slides off really easy. It's not too bad. You might be able to notice those bumps that are on the tongue. And I'm still not a fan of those bumps. They're edible. They're fine. But I'm just going to cut that top off and I'm going to feed that to my dogs. They love it. Yeah, they think it tastes great now that I've got it all skinned then I'm gonna get to cutting it up at this point it's really up to you how you want to cut it my knife is pretty sharp here but honestly this is a really easy piece of meat to cut and once you cut it I mean look at that that looks like meat it doesn't look too weird it's not like liver with a weird texture and stuff this looks like normal like a roast or something maybe the grains a little different it's just another piece of meat so don't be be scared uh, go ahead and cut it up however you want I'm gonna cut it up in some pretty small pieces and that way I can use it in a stir-fry or I can throw it on a salad or a sandwich I can do a lot of different things with it so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut up this whole tongue and uh, put it in a bowl now that I have this in a bowl I am gonna spread very liberally my own steak seasoning in it and I'm gonna pour turn pour turn you know I really want to get it in. I love properly seasoned things and I just kind of go off of look whatever you feel. I love my steak rub. See my past videos if you want the recipe to that or put in the comments below and I will put it back on there for you guys. But I'm going to season this really well, put it in the fridge, let it marinate and then I will eat it tomorrow. That's tongue you guys. It's simple. It's easy. You're using the whole cow and it tastes great. I always say try it once and if you like it great. If not, that's fine more for me. So give it a try and let me know what you think.